Hi boys and girls, welcome back to the Parsha Studio. The fast of Shiva Asar Betamuz is coming up this week, a day that marks the beginning of three weeks of mourning for the Beis HaMikdash. In honor of that, we are making a Mizrach sign with the Kosel as the background. Here are the supplies we will need. A canvas, a cup of water, green and purple paint, bleeding tissue paper, olive-based cookie cutters for the word Mizrach, Mem, Zayin, Resh, and Ches, a medium-sized paintbrush, and a small paintbrush. Let's begin. Cut the bleeding tissue paper into small rectangles. Begin by placing one triangle on the canvas, dip the larger paintbrush into water, and paint over the entire piece of tissue paper. This will cause the color from the tissue paper to bleed onto the canvas, leaving a colorful rectangular shape behind. Lay more tissue paper rectangles across the canvas like bricks on a wall, leaving some space in between the bricks. Paint over each rectangle with water until the wall is finished. This brick wall is supposed to resemble the Kosal, the western wall of the Beis HaMikdash that was not destroyed. Let's learn a little more about the history of what happened. After the Jewish people wandered through the desert for 40 years, they finally entered Eretz Yisrael. Okay, carefully peel off the tissue paper and watch how the color stays behind. Be warned that the pigment may get on your fingers. If that doesn't sound fun, consider putting on disposable gloves for this part. Back to our history lesson. Once they entered the land, it took many long years before they were able to build the Beis HaMikdash. But finally, in the times of Shlomo HaMelech, it happened. What a grand and beautiful home it was for Hashem. It lasted for a long time, 410 years. But sadly, it was destroyed by the Babylonians. Thankfully, about 70 years later, it was rebuilt again by King Daryavesh. But after 420 years, again, a tragedy struck. The Romans made a siege around Jerusalem. They surrounded the city and no one was allowed to go in or out. On the 17th of Tammuz, they broke through the walls of Yerushalayim and began advancing towards the Beis HaMikdash. Three weeks later on Tisha B'Av, they destroyed Hashem's beautiful home. Next, place the Mizrach cookie cutter letters onto the canvas, a mem, zayin, resh, and ches going from right to left. One at a time, fill in each letter using purple paint, holding onto the cookie cutter as you paint inside so it doesn't move. So, Shiva Sabritamas, the day that the walls of Yerushalayim were breached, marks the beginning of a three-week period, when we mourn the destruction of the Beis HaMikdash. This day is a day of great sadness, marked by fasting for people over Bar or Bas Mitzvah. But besides fasting, it is a day that has a special Mashiach energy. The entire three-week period from Shiva Sarbatamas through Tisha B'av is an especially opportune time for bringing Mashiach, when the third Beis HaMikdash will be rebuilt. During this time, we make an effort to increase in mitzvot, especially Ava Sisral, being kind to friends, family, and even someone you never met. When Hashem sees us caring for each other, He will bring us the ultimate goodness, the coming of Mashiach. It is also a time to learn about Mashiach in general and the Beis HaMikdash in particular. There are two advantages to learning about Mashiach. One, it helps us feel ready for when it will come, and two, the learning itself brings Mashiach closer. For the last step of our painting, use a small paintbrush to paint small green shrubs between the bricks. Aside from learning about Mashiach in general, it is very special to specifically learn about the Beis HaMikdash, how it was built, what the different parts of it were used for, and so on. It might seem silly to learn all of this when we don't even have the Beis HaMikdash with us now, but Hashem says to the Navi Yecheskel, just because my children are in Gullus, the building of the Beis HaMikdash gets cancelled? Tell them all about it, and when they learn about it, I will consider it as though they have built it. So too, even now when we learn about it, it is considered as if we are building it. What mitzvah will you do to help bring Mashiach? Let the painting dry and then find a good spot to hang it. If you've enjoyed, please like and subscribe, and we can't wait to see you next week. Bye!